The 1960s was a time of social and political upheaval in America, with many campaigning for a fairer, freer society. Discriminated against because of their sexuality and gender identity, 1960s members of the LGBTQ community also took a stand. An important milestone in their fight for human rights took place at the Stonewall Inn in Manhattan's Greenwich Village, one of the only gay bars in New York to permit dancing. It became a safe haven for the city's gay and transgender population and a target for its homophobic police force. In the early hours of June 28, 1969, during a raid on the premises, patrons and employees spontaneously fought back against the police. This revolt continued over several days and inspired others around the country to organize and advocate for a better America. Within weeks, activists had founded the Gay Liberation Front, an organization that emphasized being out as a form of protest. In 1970, the first gay pride parade took place in New York, a celebration of LGBTQ plus life and culture. It became an annual reminder of the Stonewall legacy. Recognizing that transgender people of color had been largely ignored in the initial movement, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera co-founded STAR, an activist group dedicated to helping homeless, gay and trans young people. The Stonewall Uprising was a watershed moment in the fight for LGBTQ plus rights in America. In 2015, in a testament to the dedicated efforts of thousands of LGBTQ plus activists, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that same-sex couples have a fundamental right to marry. In the following year, President Obama dedicated the Stonewall Inn as a national monument, the first to celebrate LGBTQ plus history. How are LGBTQ plus communities continuing to advocate for their rights in our democracy? And what role can you play?